here we go. The Amamanya and Air Max 95s were just spotted in Paris. Now, I'm going to say this, not because of my personal stories of meeting Mr. Whitner. I'm not even going to say my own personal stories of just, you know, being a sneakerhead by themselves. I like purple. I like violet. I like lilac. And I like indigo. I like the colors. I even like the white on the shoe. I personally wouldn't get them. Not because they're Air Max 95s either. Like, you could have done this with a different shoe and it would still have the same effect, in my opinion. I'm just in the under the impression. And you can correct me if I'm wrong in saying this. But I'm under the impression that most Air Max 95s, you know, were much more subtle, much more smooth, and, you know, very chill and, you know, out, and not too out there. These are very chill and not out there at all, but they're, they, they're feeling plain to me. And sometimes plain is a good thing. Not taking it away. But I don't want it to be plain and then have to pay resale for no fucking reason. That's what I'm getting to. That That's the argument I'm making. Like I, I don't want to pay resale for something that you know could be something that's fire. But will I let it, you know, take it away from the glory of actually being a great shoe? I will not let the shoe overpower the market, especially something as simplistic as this, and that's actually very subtle and nice. All right, 